Hello everyone, and welcome to another definitive anime review. This time, we're going to be taking a look at Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, an anime that is very... Uh, bizarre. Yeah. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure was a manga from the 1980s that was discovered in the back of a skip by the anime industry's favourite white van man, David Production. Or Dave, to all his friends. Now Dave has a knack for finding old manga in the jobs that he does, whether that's fixing JC Staff's dodgy plumbing or plastering Madhouse's crumbling walls. Jojo was just lying there, waiting to be found, and Dave thought he could make a killing making an anime of it. Because it's a man of men. It has the most manliest men ever envisioned by men. They all have manly voices and shout very loud, which is what men do. Some of them even have moustaches, which is incredibly manly. It has this bloke called Dio who says it was him in a very loud and asserting way. And that too is very manly. In fact, I'd also say that Dio is anime's Donald Trump. A man who will make Fanta great again. Or something like that. Also, brutally murdering frogs is also an act of extreme manliness. Now I know this because I watched it in a documentary presented by Sir David Attenborough. And as we all know, he knows what's up in the animal kingdom. It also has this meme in it called Roundabout, which I saw in a YouTube video once. And that meme has this song from a band called Yes, which, as I'm told from an expert music historian, was developed because it features the most manly sounds that can be put into a song. It stirs the soul whenever it comes on and makes anyone watch immediately rip off their clothes and scream about how manly they are at 5am down the street. Every one of their neighbours look on and say, That guy watches Jojo. A true man. But enough about that. What do the people think? I went on everyone's favourite anime reviewing website, my anime is, to find out more. Whitetail45 says that Jojo is a roller coaster of testosterone and feelings. It is so sublime. The anime hero says that it's a unique 80s horror shoe filled with manliness. Femto999 says that this anime was one of the most badass, yet weirdest and manliest that I've ever seen. Black Butterfly says, and heart pounding, exhilaratingly awesome, the ultimate epitome of the word badass. These are descriptions that paint the exquisite experience that is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. From what we can say from those reviews, is that Jojo is badass, and manly, and full of memes. And that means that it's 100% well worth watching. Looks like we have to thank Good Guy Day for fishing it out the skip for all of us to enjoy. Read Steel Ball Run. Right. Right, I've said it now. Alright, everyone. You've got to pay me by next week because, you know, my, vo my words don't come cheap, right? So, um, 20 quid sent to my account by next week. <laughs>